Hey, what's up? It's Lana. And welcome to my crazy life. I have a cat, so this is Ghost. Um, I probably could have filmed a better intro, but like he came and I was like, oh, I should show everyone Ghost. Ghost, look at the camera. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Look at the camera, baby. Look. Oh, you just want to go on my shoulder, don't you? He's really weird. I think he thinks he's a parrot. That was my cat. Um, this is going to be like a quick, smallish video. I know a lot of people have made a video about this. But it actually really annoys me. And I was with my mum about it last night. And it really got me mad. Um, and I know that I'm making this on YouTube and it's a little bit redundant because it's about... Not YouTube. Not YouTube. You know. Um, and that's the Facebook dislike button. And I know that a lot of people have made videos about this, and a lot of people have discussed it, and everyone is kind of like, oh my goodness, no. Everyone with half a brain is like, this is just ridiculous, right? And I know that YouTube has a, like, thumbs down button, but that's because it's videos and video content and stuff like that, and I understand disliking a video, because that's not just someone posting a photo of something they like, it's someone trying to put a creative outlet out there, and sometimes you don't like that. You don't like some TV shows. Like, that's understandable. The idea of Facebook adding a dislike button is just like saying to the world, we're just going to give all the ass hats, um, we're just going to give them all a way to be ass hats. I mean, my mum, I was like, oh, Facebook's adding a dislike button. And my mum and uncle were like, we know. And my mum's like, I love it. And I was like, what? I beg your pardon, and she's like, there are some things in my newsfeed that I just really wish I could dislike. No. And I know that we've all joked in the past when we're like 12 and 13, maybe we really need a dislike button, because you're like, oh, I want to dislike that, it's stupid. But honestly, when you really think about it, no it doesn't. And I will probably never use it. Um, because if you really don't like something, you, like if it's a picture that you just don't like it like whatever you just scroll past it like if you don't want to like it you scroll past it and if it's a video that you find you don't like or whatever or it's it's not as good as you thought it would be you comment on it okay this is what my uncle said he's like yeah but I need a, like a boring button because sometimes you watch a video because you think it's gonna be cool and then it's not you comment on it okay not offensively but you say it was misleading or what have you excuse me I'm actually in my kitchen making a coffee right now um, and if it's offensive or disgusting or disrespectful, uh, you report it. And if it's something like what my mum was complaining about, you suck it up and don't be a douchebag. Because my mum was complaining about naked pregnant people in her newsfeed. And I, to a degree, I understand, like, if it was just nudity, but, like, when do pregnant people ever wear clothes? Come on. Seriously, she was pregnant twice. I'm sure she took photo shoots like that. Hi, baby. Nope. That was a little cat. He does not like being picked up. He's just like, no freedom. Yeah, like that's my point is that it's just not needed. Like the idea of creating something that literally just says to you, I don't like you. You're not, because you're not disliking the thing, right? I mean, when people really don't like photos or something, or when photos are overly edited, they comment that and they're like, yo, your caption's misleading or whatever, and people tell them. But actually just turning around and disliking it, like, what purpose does it ever serve? That's the thing that I don't get, is what purpose do you think a dislike button is going to serve? Because we have a like button and we have a comment button, and then you just ignore it. The only people that are going to use this dislike button are people who are being just outright mean and cruel to, like, mean to people who are celebrating their bodies, A, eh? or people, or teenage girls who are trying to get their confidence up, you know, teenage girls who that dislike button could destroy the self-esteem of, you know, just, or trolls, like, no one else is going to use that button, okay? People who are mean and actually think to themselves, I don't like this 
because I don't like you. Like, they're personally attacking people by using this button. It's not like a video that they don't like and they're like, nah, I don't really like this. People who use this button, mostly, are going to be people who are sitting there. Well, let's say for photos, because yes, people who dislike videos, that's okay. Whatever. People put videos out there. People who put videos out there like that kind of expect that. But normal people, people who use the dislike button on normal teenagers or adults or whoever just scrolling around on Facebook who don't have lots of followers, they're either just mean and are kind of personally attacking that person, or they're a troll who are just disliking everything, and that is killing that person's self-esteem. Cyberbullying is one of the biggest issues. And you know what? I'm gonna hate it. I have self-esteem issues myself, and I it takes me a lot of effort to actually be willing to put videos up and I work really hard on my self-esteem and my ego and being able to put videos out there. And a dislike button on Facebook, that mm, that's not something I want. I don't even post on Facebook directly anymore. Like I post on Instagram and it posts to Facebook and I don't check the notifications on Facebook. I check the notifications on Instagram and then at the end of the day, I'll like just click the notification button and I won't even, unless I get a notification, somebody commented on it or someone tagged you in something, I don't even with Facebook. I scroll through my newsfeed every now and then, but I don't look at how many people like my photo or anything on Facebook because I don't care because I know that Facebook is one of the biggest places of cyberbullying and that everyone on Facebook is kind of just an ass already. Okay. We're kind of all just mean people. Most of the time, like Facebook is just so full of trolls, and I'm this dislike button. I don't know. I it makes me want to boycott Facebook altogether. It makes me want to delete Facebook and just be like, nope. But there are some people that I don't talk to on Facebook, so I can't do that. It just makes me so irritated that someone actually sat there and thought, hmm, what can we do with Facebook? Mm, you know, a bunch of twelve-year-olds really want a dislike button. Yeah, but. It could kill a bunch of other 12 year old self esteem. Let's do it anyway. Like, I don't understand how you thought of that in your head, and then you said it, and then everyone else thought about it in their head, and then said, Yeah, no, that's a great idea, let's do it. Because no one person doesn't just go, Matt, no dislike button, Facebook, done, bam. There's like a boardroom meeting about it, and everyone else was like, Yes! No! Get a brain. Thank you. Bye. Um, it just makes me really mad. Okay. Hey, Liz. Um, but that is for, for today. I just wanted to rant about the Facebook dislike button. Not even in the shop because I'm getting biscuits. With my coffee. Priorities, guys, priorities. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just think it's repulsive and absolutely ridiculous and the stupidest thing in the world. And it makes me so mad that some people don't actually see that. And that's the thing that pisses me off. Not that Facebook sat down and was like, yeah, let's add a dislike button, and that it's gonna kill people's self esteem. But some people don't actually see how damaging it's going to be. That's what's annoying me the most. Like, my mum didn't even think that it would hurt people's self Like, she didn't even think of that. And that's probably what's happened. They're not even considering the fact that it's going to destroy people's self-esteem. And there are going to be people out there who simply don't like a photo. And they're going to hit that dislike button without even thinking of the recapacitation. Recapacitation. You know what I mean? Um, repercussions? Repercussions? That word. <laughs> and simply because they didn't think about it, they're gonna hurt some poor young girl or boy or adult or whatever, and they're gonna destroy their self esteem. This is Lex, um, and that is all for this video. So, toodaloo! Hi, baby! Want a kiss? No, this is his rejection pool. Go, Bubba, go. Um, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to talk about that. And um, I will see you guys next time. He's there, Mother Cat now. Yeah.
He's gone. I kicked him out. Um, bye. That is not my outro. It's toodaloo, battle, blah, but I don't have a battle, so. My cat's really on edge because another cat just came in the house and I had to scare him out. Alright, toodaloo.